Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module 5 of grade 2. Get your name on here first. And we're solving by first drawing chips on the place value chart and then using addition to check subtraction. 800. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 hundreds. And I have to subtract 675. Well, we don't have any tens or ones, so we've got to work with what we have and decompose 100. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We're going to decompose a 10. And now I, gotta, now I can subtract. Cross out 5 ones. Cross out seven tens. That's four, five, six, seven. And then six hundreds. So I have a hundred left. Two tens and five ones. Uh, looking at these numbers for a mental strategy, I see this 675. I could add easily add 25 to both of these numbers. And call this 825 minus 700. If you don't, if you're not good with 25s and 50s and making hundreds with those and 75s, then maybe this mental trick wouldn't have come so easy to you, and you might want to just do it vertically. And yeah, but either way, I'm going to check that 125, my difference, adds up with my subtrahend. And it does. Seven hundreds. Four tens. Two ones. I need to subtract five ones. I don't have five ones. So I'm going to decompose a ten. And then nine tens. I don't have that either. So I have to decompose a hundred. And now I can subtract. Cross out five ones, cross out nine tens. I'll have one left from that group, and then four hundreds. One, two, three, four. What do I have left? Two hundreds, four tens, five, six, seven ones. Now, looking at this mentally, uh, Oh, I can do this mentally, because that 495, that's almost 500, right? So if I add 5 to both, I have 747 minus 500, which is 247. And I'll check that with vertical addition, 495 plus 247. When you do your vertical math, make sure you start with the ones digits first, and you gotta show these composed tens and hundreds. Six hundred, fifty, Seven is our menu end. And let's see, can, I have plenty of ones, because I don't, I don't need any at all to subtract. Uh, nine tens, so I have to decompose a hundred. And cross out zero ones, done. Cross out nine tens, that's going to be one left from this group. 
and then cross out two hundreds. What's left? Three hundreds, six tens, and all seven ones. Looking at this mental strategy, looks pretty good here. That's almost 300, so I just have to add 10 to both of these. 667 minus 300, which equals 367. I'm going to check this vertically. 290 plus 367. Right, I'm adding my subtrahend and my difference back together to see if I can get my 657, my minuend. Starting with the ones digits, 7, tens add up to 15, I have to compose 100, 600, so that's 657, 800, Seventy seven minus three hundred ninety eight. Uh, I need eight ones and I don't have them, and I need nine tens. I don't need I don't have all those either. So let's decompose the ten first. And I'm gonna decompose a hundred. There. Now I can cross out uh, eight ones. So I'll have two left from this group of ten. And nine tens. I'm going to have one left from this group of ten tens. And then three hundreds I have to cross out. One, two, three. And what's left? For the ones I have the seven, eight, nine. For my tens I have five, six, one more, seven. And for my hundreds, there's four of those left, 479. Looking at this, that's pretty close to 400, so there's an easy mental strategy here, just adding two to both of these. 879 minus 400 equals 479, and that's what we had. So, checking it, 479 plus the 398, starting with the ones digits, 9 plus 8, 17, I have to compose a 10. Looking at our tens digits, there's a 1 and a 9 I can put together to make 10, and then add that to the 7 for 17, that means I have to compose 100. And adding our hundreds digits, that's 4 and 3 and 1, and it adds up to 8, 877, and that's our minuend. So far, so good. 941, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here's the 40 and the 1. I have to subtract 628. I need 8 ones, and I don't have them, so I have to decompose a 10. And I need to subtract two tens, and I have three, so that's enough. So I'm ready to go. Let's cross out eight ones. That means I'm going to have two left from this ten group here. Two tens and six hundreds. That's going to be this five group row and one more. So what's left? Three hundreds, one ten, three ones. Looking at these... I don't see a uh, mental math strategy that looks like it's going to be any easier than vertical subtraction. So this one I'm going to subtract vertically. All right, so since I haven't done this in a while, I'm going to show it again. Um, that's our menu end. Uh, we don't have enough ones, so I have to decompose a 10. Three of those left, and 11 ones. And now I can subtract. I have enough 10, so I don't have to decompose a 100. 
Looking at our 1's place, 11 minus 8 is 3. Our 10's place, 3 minus 2 is 1. And our 100's, say 9 minus 6 is 3. 313. Let's add that back to our subtrahend. And we should get our minuend back. 1's place, digits, 8 plus 3 is 11. Compose a 10. Leave 1, one behind. Add our tens digits, 1 plus 2, 3, 1 more is 4. And then our hundreds, 3 plus 6, that's 9. And that's our minuend. Now it says complete all of the if-then statements. Draw a number bond to represent the related facts. So it looks like we're talking about related number sentences and... We have a 928 and a 519, so something is missing here. We have the 519, and here's the 409. So let's do the number bond first. Right, in a subtraction e equation, the whole is our minuend, 928, and our parts are going to be the difference, 519, but we don't know what the other one is because that's left blank. But if we look at this related number sentence here, there's a 409. And you could add those together to check to see if they really, if it really does fit there. It does. So this is going to be the 409. And this is going to be the 928. And there we, we're done. We have the number bond and we finished the if then statement. So let's do one more. Here's our number bond and our hole and our parts. And we know what the whole is because we have a minuend here and a total. So that's 764. And we have a part of 391. But we don't know what the other part is. Could be 391. But it looks like we're going to have to figure out what it is. We can do that by subtracting. And let's see. We could use arrow way to count our way up to find the missing part here. Uh, but when you try to find a missing part, subtraction is one of the ways to do it. So we know the whole, 764, and we know one of the parts, 391. And we find out what the other part is, we just subtract. 4 minus 1 in our 1's place, that's 3. 6 minus 9, can't do that, so we have to decompose that 100. Now we have 16 10's. That leaves us 16 minus 9 for our 10's place. That's 7, and 6 minus 3 in our 100's is 3. So it's 373.